Here's a short tutorial on how to make a green screen movie in Windows Movie Maker 6. Um, I am using Windows 7, so I, which does not have Movie Maker 6. It has Movie Maker Live, which does not um, allow to do almost anything that Movie Maker 6 did. So I went online and found a copy of Movie Maker 6 that works on Windows 7, downloaded it, installed it, and here I am using it. Next thing you have to do is go to uh, rehaneffects.org. They have the transition that you're going to need, the, the chroma keys. And uh, look for the operating system. Uh, that you would need to download for 32-bit or 64-bit and download that ins it installs automatically then you can go and when you open Windows Movie Maker it'll be in the transitions you'll see it has blue chroma keys and a bunch of green chroma keys the A's are in case your green screen clip is behind or the B is if the green screen is in front of the background. Uh, it also has a whole bunch of other transitions that are fun to use. So anyway, let's go to our green screen. Oops, what did I, where did I stick all those? Here we are. So let's say I have a field. I just want a piece of this field here. And I want to put a dragon on top, so I'm going to cut a piece of this video. I have just a short part of it right there. I want to mute it because I think there's uh, people yelling in the background. Clip audio mute. And then uh, you can go online on YouTube, and there are a bunch of free green screen clips. I found one here of a dragon. So I'm going to take a piece of that, cut off the beginning, about the size of the the other clip that I have. Right there. And what you're going to do is drag the green screen on top of the background as far as you can go. You're always going to have a little bit left. You could just pull it over like that. But I have found no matter how much you drag and clip and nudge it, you're always going to have at least one frame at the beginning and one at the end, which you will have to deal with later. So we'll talk about that later. Now you go to Transitions. Go get your green chroma key. I have, with much practice, I've learned that the B1 0.1 is the best that works for my green screen. And now we have the dragon on top of the field. And this is going to be loud. Or not. I guess I muted uh, both of the clips. Okay. Okay. I've gotten a dragon in front of the field and then I also have a puppet. Now I want to put a third effect on top of all of that. So I've of course saved this as Abby re-imported it and then I'm going to take a clip of this little explosion And I cannot drag it into the center where I would like it. Say I want it right around here. I can't just drag it over there. So I'm going to have to split this. You know, give it about that much space where you want it over here. Split the clip. And bring that green screen clip over. Drag it on top. You can do clip nudge left until you get it as close as you can. It won't go completely. And 
then bring a transition on top. Now you've got an explosion happening. Like so. Okay. Uh, if you want a third transition or even more on top of that, just keep saving it as an AVI, re importing it, and putting your green screen on top of that. So you can do lots of layers and all kinds of uh, fun effects with uh, rehand effects transitions. Have a lot of fun!